You know, guy, you really annoy me. You piss me off so much. I, oh, whoa, whoa. Hey there, guys. Welcome back to more Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. I was just talking with my greatest enemy. and You see that block? That block is the source of all our problems. We need to hit that block in order to move the sun. Again. But... It's out of reach, and we can't hammer it, because this is a Mario and Luigi Dream Team. You can't hammer things. Oh, oh god. Get the hell out, virus. Um... Let's hammer this. This is the area when I said I wanted to have Luigi... ...with the... Okay, ...laser... This is the place where I said I wanted... Mario to have the weed wallet. Because in this part, Luigi won't be joining us for a little bit. He'll be leaving the party. So we're gonna have a bit of solo Mario time again. Like at the beginning of the game. Let's try a I can never do that. I really should have healed before this fight. Well, let's hope when the time comes, I actually heal before the boss. Okay. Now it's just him. We can just gang up on him and destroy him. Oh, what the? How'd you get? Oh, you you're dead anyway. Bye. I, I walked right into the virus. I think he turns red. Nope, he turns yellow. Oh god! What? You poison? You piece of shit! <laughs> How is there so many things I don't know about the viruses? Mario leveled up though. Well, that's a thing! I'm gonna bring up HP, because I'm probably gonna need it. At this point, with how badly I've been sucking in these fights, I'm using a Super Mushroom, really. That one, no, I don't wanna use another one. I'm gonna use a regular. I think I'm good with Serum for now. No, we can't do anything over here, so we have to go back away from here. We have to dodge this red virus. Good. We need to get another barrel. And we need to hide up here. And then we need to spin. Problem is, that block right there is a troll. I think it was just put there to purposely get in the way. Because that block will troll you. It's just sitting there. In that exact spot, so you're not able to get past it. So we gotta go around it like that. Then we gotta hit this way. Open up a path that only Mini Mario can go through. So, let's mini him up. Of course, we wanna have Luigi down here waiting. And then we gotta do a little maze! Oh, fantastic. I don't like mazes. Especially in Zelda games. Oh god, we gotta start on mazes in Zelda games. Okay. Speaking of Zelda games, I have not recorded any seasons. Mouse, get the hell out. Any seasons or ages alive. Anyway, that'll plug all those in. And we get another barrel! Yay! We're gonna need that second barrel. And you'll see why in just a moment. This is when Luigi will be leaving us. Let's be side Mario. And then get the high jump. And then get the spin jump. And then spin. And then ball. Let's go. I want a ball. And then spin again. Spin that. I'm apparently watching through the map. 
Anyway, let's put Luigi in the barrel. You don't want to move the other barrel. Trust me, you don't want to move the other barrel. You know what? Let me show you what happens if you move the other barrel. This won't really negatively affect you. But watch. If you only have one barrel, this will fire an your ball. That will go and hit the statue, and the statue will kill you and blow up. So, you need to have two barrels. Let's go. But you're probably wondering, why two barrels? Well, we don't see you in just a second. Because, the wind is going to reflect the first barrel. First electric, hit the electric ball. And since we know Luigi's barrel will reflect it, then that will cause a chain reaction and cause that barrel to reflect the, back the ball and hit that electric barrel. Like that. Thus moving that crane. But the crane takes Luigi, mistaking him for a barrel. So it's Mario time, ladies and gentlemen. Solo Mario time. We don't need to worry about Luigi much, but we have no bros in that. Why don't you do this part like a few times? Oh no. No! No! The virus! The virus! Okay. Okay. I wanna make him yellow. And then all that's left is the eaker. Oh frick. The viruses are pretty annoying enemies, but. Since it's solo Mario time for a little while, we're gonna have to just do some fights with Mario. That's the thing I'm worried about because some of these enemies are actually very annoying. Except for this laser snippet, he's not so bad. Except when he's with a freaking another laser snippet and a yo bro. But we already know the yo bro is only gonna be targeting Mario because we only have Mario. Pretty much just dodge the attacks, kill some enemies. Oh, frick. You don't really need to worry about the weed. Although I do like having Luigi, it's an added convenience of having two attacks instead of just one. Oh, great, he's doing that. Why would you waste your turn doing that, buddy? You're only fighting Mario. And, oh, yeah, I wish I didn't find that. Lucky hit. You see, when you're only using Mario, you can easily tell when that troll attack's gonna come in, because you only have one bro. You only he only has one target. So it's not hard to tell. Oh god. There we go, dead. It's solo Mario time, ladies and gents. Oh, this is the part. Luigi's up there. But, we get to play a game of classic Donkey Kong! Fight! Die. Fight, die. We get to play a game of classic Donkey Kong by dodging the barrels. But if you touch a barrel, you end up back at the start. In my first run of this game, this was very annoying. I failed this so many times. It's like the chocolate. I died so many times against the chocolate. My first run ever. Well, first few runs. I've only beaten the game once. And here we go. But still too the week. Special switch. Hit it! But once again, it's gonna mistake Luigi as a barrel and drop him down. But he hits the switch for us, so thanks Luigi. Thank you for taking one for the team, because that unlocks that door. And then the bro hug, and we can get out of here. I like the bro hug. That's pretty. That's a nice touch. Call me old-fashioned, but whatever. 
<laughs> I've played this game a bunch of times, so. What? We're almost done? We're almost done here with Woohoo Cooper. Alright. This one's not as bad. Formula for distance spitting. Rear, hammer, front, water, spit. Effective in hitting distant flames and objects with body. So pretty much what it's saying is you can use your hammer with the wiggy in the back to instead of just spurt out all the water at once, spit out one drop at a time. So you just gotta shoot that guy. That will be an important mechanic for later. And then... So, it's all the way at the sun, at the door. All we need to do is get over there. All we gotta do now is hit up this switch. And then... Puzzle clear. Oh, yeah. The first is ever completion! Oh, great, Cacolea! Unleash the points of Princess Peach on the bean star when you are waking to. <laughs> the moment when all the world will bow down to me has come at last! Yep! As I said, Cacoletta is here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the penultimate room. Beyond here, the battle with Cacoletta. Right beyond those doors. I'm gonna heal up. Heal up everything to full. I'm gonna save. And I'll be right back. Let's do this. What is this? I have right, a situation we have not suspected is beginning to develop. May we flee? Pests! Loose and pests! At the worst possible moment! We don't have time to deal with you fools! Oh, yeah. Now you have time to deal with our fools. Ha! <laughs> well... Oh, won't this be fun? Oh yes! If that's how it is, I'm ready. Right. I'm going to knock you all the way back to the Mushroom Kingdom! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the big final battle with Cacoletta. Unlike the Chocolator who had 600 HP, Cacoletta only has half that with 300. She has 74 defense and 90 speed, but she will almost just about always go first when the fight begins. And then she'll do this. This is the most annoying part of the fight with Cacoletta. She clones herself. So you have to figure out which one's the real Cacoletta, but there is no indication which one might be real. They give you no tips whatsoever on which one might be real. So you have to guess which one might be the real Cacoletta, but if you're wrong, for example, I'm just gonna this one. This is gonna happen. You really wanna dodge those bats because they poison you. Yep, I hit both the fake ones. This is the most annoying part of the fight with Cacoletta. And the bats can poison you! 
And if you fail to hit the real Cacoleta, she clones herself all over again, and you have to repeat the process. I like the fight as a concept, but Cacoleta cloning herself 50 fucking times is the most annoying thing ever. I'm gonna heal Mario. No point in wasting bros moves right now. If you can pull off an advanced move, advanced bounce bros if you have it, I'm gonna set the frequency to one because I'm worried I'll fail it. Okay, I found the real one. Fuck! Oh my god, Kakwana! You're such a bitch! I hate you so much. You know what? Let's hammer time. We haven't hammered time. Fake one. Oh, shut up. This fight might drag on a while. I'm sorry. Okay, I found the right one, but I only did 10 eight. <laughs> oh my god, no! This is taking forever. What? What the? What? Okay, what you do another advance? Whoa, I found the real one. Oh, she's attacking. Okay. Kakalena's primary attack. She fires electricity. She raises her right arm. She's... Wait. I gotta look at this from Kakalena's direction. To your left, it's Mario. To your right, it's Luigi. Well, Mario then Luigi, or Luigi then Mario. She raises both arms at once, it's both bros. But she's completely revealed, so let's chop her bros this bitch's face it. This is what you get for fucking with the Mushroom Kingdom! Back to this. Do I have anything I can use? Not really. This is what makes the fight drag so much. Good thing I didn't get poisoned there. Um, let's do another advanced bounce first. Fake one. But we already attacked the real Kakalata. The thing is, if you attack a fake Kakalata and then attack a real Kakalata, the real Kakalata, the fakes automatically die and can't do anything. So, that's why Advanced Bounce Bros is good. Because if I screw up with Mario, and I Advanced Bounce Bros with Luigi, I hit the fake Kakalata, but I also hit the real one if I pull it off. So that's why I have the thing set to 1. So I have the slow motion so I can assure a hit. Not sure how much more until she's almost dead though, because she only has 300 HP. And it doesn't look like my attacks are doing much. Ow! Looks like she only does 3. So. Looks like Kakua is taking like full on offensive now. That's good. She should almost be dead soon. I'm gonna use a Sierra from the Back to clones, back to clones. That's actually pretty good because it's Oh! If I went into that lucky hit on the real Kakaletta, that would have been awesome! That would have been awesome if I- Oh, come on! Mario! Mario! You- Why do you always get poisoned, Mario? God. Vince! That was the real one. 
Back to clones. I want to get rid of that poison, so I'm going to have to waste the turn. So, I'll be able to show off how to indicate which Kakweta is real. If Mario and Luigi are faster than Kakweta, that's a problem in this situation. This is the only way to differentiate which is the real Kakweta, so you pretty much have to wet her attack. So I'm going to waste her turn to heal Mario because that poison kind of screwed him up. Okay. You saw right there, the Kakweta in the middle attacked both bros. So the one in the middle is the... Okay, as I was saying. The real Kakweta raised both her arms. Raises both her arms when she attacks. So that's the only way to tell which one is real. And I am apparently the dumbest person ever. I wasted a chopper burst. I'm pretty sure Kakla is close to that level, so I'm just doing the dance with that burst. Or do a regular one because we attack the real Kakla. Okay, this is kind of me kind of waste turn time. It's a pretty dumb idea to waste your turn. You don't want to waste your turn. Because having the chance to attack is pretty valuable in this fight. Let's kill Luigi because he needs it more. Okay, raise both arms. Yep, this is the real one. Here we go. Now let's get back on the offensive. Tenacious little boys, aren't you? I'm too busy for such games. Okay, that's an indication Kakuleta's almost dead. Time for this to end! And she's gonna go into this mode. This is pretty much her almost dead mode. Where all she pretty much does is this attack. It's not that hard to dodge. Just jump over. And apparently now you can attack twice. It's always the same cycle, so it's no big deal. After this, it's just simple offensive or miss. Oh! Wow! That was short lived. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, we saved the Mushroom Kingdom. We killed Kakweta. And we got all- Apparently Kakweta is filthy rich because we got like 900 coins off her. And I think we're- Yep, auto level ups. Okay, perfect. I mean, she is the big antagonist, so of course we're getting like massive experience. And like a pretty much automatic level up. Let's put up Stash Mom. I like having lucky hits. They're really convenient. Wiggy? Yep, Wiggy. Wiggy's getting auto level up too. Uh, let's bring up speed. Oh, okay, that's a dope. Yeah! How could this happen? Kaklara, do not have worries! Watch, I am sucking up your energy with this headgear. How does that work? Oh, 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 Falco, give them one final attack for me. I say to you, yes. I love Awful's lines in this game. And Pretty Boy comes into the scene and stabs Fawful to death and sends him flying. This is apparently Super Smash Brothers. <clears throat> now, quickly, to the Fallen Beanstar! What? The Beanstar heard Princess Peach's voice and went mad? Yeah, that's kind of what happened. 
You seem to know something we don't. But what with Princess Peach's voice drive the beanstalk? No, you he has a point then. In that story Queen Bean told us, Peach's voice is the only way to activate the beanstalk. Not drive insane. Unless Peach is moaning instead of talking. I sent a surprising secret at the center of this riddle. I shall explain all in detail once we have safely recovered the bean star that has fallen below. You two must go to the bottom floor immediately. Shut. So, Prince Peasley is gonna leave us with the task of collecting the bean star. Kaklet is dead. She's done. Game over. We don't need to worry about it. Mushroom Kingdom safe. All we need to do is get Peach's boys back, get the bean star, and boom, basa boom at the festival. We have saved everything already. Seems a bit unusual though, don't you think? That the bean star drove Peach that Peach's voice drove the bean star insane? Hmm. Well, it's clear I already know what happened because I played the game before, but for those of you who haven't played the game before, I'm not gonna say because of spoilers. This is a very important plot point. I'm not going to really mention it other than that piece of the puzzle. Um, there are all the chuckle beans in this place, I swear. I only picked up like two. Let's just pick up these items real quick. Super Mushroom. Super Nut. Chuckle Bean. Okay. I'm gonna end this part off here, actually. Because we just took down the cause of all our problems. And all we have left is to get the Bean Star. We're gonna have to fight a lot more enemies, though. We're not done with Woohoo University just yet, ladies and gentlemen. So next time on Mario Luigi's Superstar Saga, we're gonna finish off Woohoo Hooniversity, collect the Bean Star, and then return to Bean Bean Castle and bring forth the news of Cacoletta's demise. See you guys next time.